Hi, my name is Matt Nansbury, Director of Content and Publications for the Uptime Institute, Program Director for Uptime Institute Symposium 2012. And I'm here today with Andy Lawrence, Research Director at the 451 Research's Data Center Technologies Practice. Andy, thanks for being on the call. My pleasure. So today we're talking about Data Center Infrastructure Management, DSIM, DCIM software. And that's the topic of Andy's presentation at the symposium this year. And uh, Andy, I, I, my first question for you is, how does DCIM fit into kind of the overall evolution of the data center kind of technology space? What, talk to me about that. I think this year we are we are going to address the, the, the exact question you ask, which is, you know, where does it fit in in terms of the overall data center? Um, how are people going to be able to use it as they move forward? We're, we're particularly interested, I think, in three areas. Um, and, and these areas, I think, are going to drive both the, the buyer's considerations, but especially the roadmaps of, of the vendors. The first one is convergence. Um, IT, which, which of course is the main theme of, this, of the whole symposium. Uh, on the IT side, I think IT really needs to see much more visibility into what is going on in the data center um, so that they can make decisions about efficiency and workload planning and how to protect service levels and how to make the right investments and so on. So, so that's a very key area, and we're seeing DSIM evolve to, to meet that requirement. Uh, the second thing is, as we all know, uh, there's a move towards prefab and modular data centers. Uh, we think DSIM is, if you like, the electronic glue that joins all the parts together. Um, so we're going to talk about that. Um, we, we think basically DSIM is, ha has the potential to be the, the operating system of the, of the future data center. So, so again, a very key area. Um, and very allied to this, the third thing we're interested in is this general move towards more um, dynamic control and ultimately automatic or autonomic systems. Um, at 451, we see um, the end result that the holy grail is a data center is able to kind of optimize uh, and, and become self-managing um, in rather like, you know, an airliner might do in flight. And it, uh, now, I don't want to take the analogy too far, but uh, you, you see the point I'm making that almost everything that moves um, is registered and, and, and logged and picked up by sensors, and, uh, and, and there's a high degree of optimization going on. So, so those are the three areas that we're looking at. Great. So where are the vendors today? How are they, you know, how is the market shaping up for them? Are they you know, selling a lot of units? Is there a lot more activity? Uh, right. So... It's a, it's a curious market, the, the DSIM market, because it's not nearly as big as a lot of the as the noise has suggested, um, and, and we there's a whole lot of reasons for that, that that we don't need to go into here. But we we do see it now entering a, a period of very strong, solid adoption, uh, fairly steady and accelerating growth. This is a very interesting period. I, I suspect that uh, the market for DSIM will look very different in, say, three or four years' time than it does now in terms of, of who all the names are. Great. So, Andy, any advice for folks that are looking at purchasing DCIM software or you know, implementing it? There are quite a lot of issues. There are issues around pricing. There are issues about scalability. There are issues about supplier assessment. Um, there's integration issues, certainly, as, as I've said, with um, – with IT systems, but also with BMS, with data collection systems. There's a lot to say, and there are a lot of areas where people can go wrong, and, and, it, and we have seen a few examples of where people have gone wrong. So, yeah, we're going to give advice on, on those key points, um, and indeed over the, over the whole year we hope to, to publish a lot more uh, around that area. Great. Well, thanks for joining us today, Andy, and uh, I look forward to seeing more about DSIM at the Uptime Institute Symposium, May 14th through 17th, Santa Clara, California. Great. Thank you.